is um, Lil Doza, also known as Daniel Mendoza here. And uh, today we're going to look behind the scenes of uh, the Pickle Sim boss battle theme. Now the Pickle Sim boss battle theme is um, actually the third song in the Pickle Sim um, soundtrack. Um, however, it is the second song I have made. So I'm going to, um, I kind of want to go in order of, um, you know, creation. So, um, this one, um, entitled, this my game has my boss battles, question mark. I am um, titled it that because that was my reaction when I learned that Pickle Sim had boss battles. So I thought it would just be something kind of silly to put in there. And yeah. So um, that's the history of the title. Um, other ideas we had were, um, what was it? Kazoo Choir. Um, I liked the name of that, but I didn't. I felt like it didn't really. Uh, sorry, uh, it didn't really match the kind of titles uh, titles I already had for the other uh, for the other two because I developed titles after I finished all the songs and uh, remember the pickle sim is available on the google play store for free i forgot to mention that it is free completely free um in this you know unless but it isn't free if you um you know have your data plan and you need to use all your, and you don't use up all your data you know downloading a uh what like 10 11 megabyte game but anyways, let's go into Studio One and um, see what's going on in this song. So um, with the Pickle Sim boss battle theme, I bas basically, um, I didn't really have too much. I It was all kind of developed in my head. I believe um, the order that you're seeing everything in is kind of the order of what I started with. I want I began with a nice little simple chord progression um which is right here So for whatever reason that first note isn't playing as loud as the other notes my guess is that's still something to do with the um what is it the fact that this is um, Studio One Three and it's using Studio Two instruments, I guess. So I began with this, the CS um, lead, simple chord progression um, in C minor, goes from C minor to A flat uh, major, B flat major, and then back to C minor. So. As that I began, I wanted to add some piano using the um, Studio One piano that's already that was you know pre-installed with it. Just wanted to give it some bass, some a little bit more of a spooky vibe. It needed the bass, and um, just like the Pickle Sim theme, it needed kind of like a pad or something to. Um, keep it nice and uh, connected. I ended up using the, what is this, oldie lead? And that, that kept the um, place of it. So it's just um, courting out the um, song. So the next thing I needed to do was um, kind of build the melody. And now, like I said, how this was um, originally called Kazoo Choir, um, it has three kazoo parts in it. And uh, the kazoo uh, parts were kind of um, like felt out on the piano. I figured out what I wanted to do and then put them in onto the kazoo. So um, I started with the bass, um, which is right here. <laughs> So um, I believe the bass is just simply playing the bass notes. And C 
zoned. So the next thing I added was the melodic line that, um, again, is just as mendable and stuff as the Pickle Sim theme. And I do use a lot in the future Pickle Sim game that we are making. Um, it makes a nice little harmony. I mean, as good of a harmony as you can make with a out of tune kazooist. So um, I had it repeat. I'm I, right over here. I have it repeat again, but it needed a higher part. So I have a little soprano line, which is um, just as out of tune as the other two kazoo's. I bet if I used um a real kind of choir sound, it wouldn't be as unsilly. But, um, okay, now before it hits that part, I do want to warn all parties listening that um, it's terribly out of tune. I don't even know where we were. Okay, not there. So I made like a, I don't know, how do you explain, like, what is it, um, an extra part, like an extra verse or something, a pre-chorus, bridge, oh, that's not it either, I, I'm obviously, if I had the marker, if I knew how to use the markers or the, um, tracker range, or if I had the tracker ranger before, I would have used it, but, um, so this terrible mess of a um, thing I also end up using later, but it's very badly out of tune. I don't know why I let this pass. I was probably just getting really lazy. Oof. Yeah, that's bad. Here it comes. It's like the most out of tune part of the <coughs> out of this song. But um then I had my ending. Now I'm gonna skip over these three tracks because this was me after I had um, made the song. Trying to make the um the song less out of tune. It's basically a synth of some form. I don't know what type of synth. And it's playing the same notes as the um kazoo but only in tune but um i never ended up putting that out so then i had snare and cymbal and uh now you have the entireties of the song starts off with a big cymbal crash um the cymbal and snare do come from um a drum set i do have here in my um and I use this um, term very loosely, studio. So um, that's not any um, audio loops or anything. That's pure, authentic creation of mine. And so, yeah, that's the uh, Pickle Sim Boss Battle theme. Um, I really um, like the orchestration of it. I really liked how, um, kind of the direction I had with it I had a, a mindset I already I knew what I wanted to do and I managed to put it down exactly how I wanted it albeit with um out of tune kazoo and um I guess that would be it for the pickle sim boss battle theme also known as um this game has boss battles um <clears throat> nothing uh too complicated um first album was the uh you know, the most complicated. Gling, um, Pain 99, um, <laughs> we will be playing, um,
then that, that I, I should just give up now while I have the chance. But I won't. Next episode, we will be tackling Pay 99 Cents to Get More Lives, the final song in the album. Um, this is little been this has been little Doza, also known as Daniel Mendoza. I am saying this slow, not because I think you're dumb, but because I'm dumb and don't know how to say English words. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Have a good day.